Zoom. How are you doing? Hey. Hi. Hi, the Zoom. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Whoa, don't fall off, bubs. <laughs> That's my ear. Yep. For the past two weeks, I've been at team training, and I thought I would give you a little preview of what we did throughout the two weeks that we were there. And up. up. We weren't always nope. successful, so we try again. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Up. Cool. That's it. Oh, good job. Nope. Up. Good. That's it. Good boy. Good job. Bazzini. Up. Good job. Sit. When we go into public, sometimes we want our dogs to go under, and that helps to keep them out of the way. The tug command can be very useful for helping you open doors and drawers. It can also help you pull your wheelchair or even pull a laundry basket. One of the most useful commands for me is pull. We use a specialized vest that helps me get around when I get tired or I have too many things in my hands. One of the funnest activities we did was doing an obstacle course Nine. without having a leash. We had to use a lot of praise. Let's go. Get. That's it, boy. That's it. Good boy. Jump. Good. 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 At the end of class, I think we were all ready to go release. What's up, pup? What's up? You ready to do your ADI testing? Are you? Huh? You ready? We're gonna rock it. Yeah, gonna rock it, baby boy. I have to say a major thanks to both CrossFit Winter Park and CrossFit Mousetrap. They allowed me to come in and work out, so I highly recommend that you go if you're down in Orlando, Florida.
Stop running in front of our camera. I was doing a camera ball. This is not safe way. Let's go, let's go. Sally! Go! Just finished a workout. Hello. Last workout together. Yeah. Sad um. face. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, team training was good. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Exhausting, but we got our workout in. We uh, counteracted some of those extra snacks, hopefully. Yeah. All the yeah. desserts. The, the uh, food was much better than the last two times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The food yeah. was on point. It was. Especially the snacks and Can desserts. Can you see my hand, like, shaking? We're like, <laughs> the The image is going to be a little <laughs> shaky. All we right. We're uh, going to do the lunch in now. Bye. Bye. So tomorrow is graduation. We got to meet Vizzini's puppy raisers today and he seemed very, very happy to see them. Tomorrow is another big day because we are going down to SeaWorld to go to graduation. I am going to speak. I'm going to try and finish my, um, my speech and, uh, I get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm not going to work out. So hopefully me and the pup can maybe go do a little walk around campus before he goes and goes to the kennel. And then takes a ride in the, the CCI truck to go to CCI. And then at graduation, the puppy raiser will, uh, both the puppy raisers will be handing the leash off to me on stage. So I think Vizzini is already ready to go to bed. But yeah. See you tomorrow. At Canine Companions for Independence, we place exceptional dogs with exceptional people, and our graduate speaker today exemplifies this to the fullest. Mia Ives Rubley is graduating today with a dog that Shelley trained, Vizzini. Vizzini is the third dog Mia has received from Canine Companions. She's going to share with you a little about her journey with Canine Companions and her May team training experience. Please welcome Mia to the stage. So in the tradition of the May 2019's team training, I was picked to go first on stage. Uh, at first, uh, at least this time, I don't have to work with Fluffy. Uh, now Fluffy, if you don't know who Fluffy is, Fluffy is a carpet dog. Uh, he's had many iterations since I've been involved with CCI uh, Canine Companions. Uh, he's added eyes and a tail which is very awesome. Uh, but basically he is made of carpet and is for us students to learn on before we handle a real dog. So my name is Mia Ives Rubley and today I will be receiving my third service dog from Canine Companions for Independence. I first learned about Canine Companions at the age of 10 at a conference held in Orlando. I was amazed that there were dogs trained who could pick up items off the ground and bring them to you. Now, I was born as a, uh, as a dog lover, so I wanted to ask my parents for a service dog, thinking that was the best way to get a puppy of my own. So I rushed to my parents and begged them to allow me to get one. That was the start of a very long journey for me, full of cold noses, warm paws, and learning how to coordinate my clothing to match the color of my dog's fur. I now have had service dogs from Canine Companions for over 22 years, and every year I treasured each pup for the security and love they gave me. My first dog, Stephen G, was a large pup with a penchant for snuggling. If he could manage it, he would have had his head in my lap for 100% of the time. My second service dog was named Ariane, and she was my princess who knew how to pull at my heartstrings with her huge puppy dog eyes. 
As every recipient who has ever come to the Canine Companions Training Center, I was excited and nervous for I was excited and nervous to attend team training. But as I've learned from previous times, receiving a successor dog can add an extra dimension of anxiety. Canine Companions has built my expectations so high after receiving my last two loyal partners. There's a mixture of loss and renewal, something I struggled with a lot when I was receiving Ariane. Coming for my second successor dog, I struggled again with sadness of moving on to another chapter in my life. But as always, Canine Companions has outdone itself. I've quickly fallen in love with my new partner and look forward to the antics we will get into. I am also extremely excited for all the new recipients. Each recipient receiving their first service dog, skilled companion, or facility dog will be starting a brand new journey just like I did 22 years ago. They will become inseparable, creating partnerships built on love and trust. Those receiving their successor dogs will be learning to adjust and love their new partners with the same veracity they did their previous pups. Throughout team training, I've seen each person and dog interact with each other, testing each other and building bonds that will forever change each other's lives. I hope you get a glimpse of what these new partnerships will mean to all of us recipients through the Graduate Spotlight video. Thank you. Good morning. It is my pleasure to present the service teams. I'd like to invite Mia to center stage, please. Mia has been placed with successor service dog Bazzini, a male yellow lab golden cross. As a successor, Bazzini, Bazzini is Mia's third service dog. Mia's service dogs have enriched her life through making her feel safe and loved. She has had the assistance of a service dog for 22 years and is looking forward to the continued support with Vizzini, with, with Vizzini's help maneuvering through the city, pulling her manual wheelchair short distances, and of course doing fun things like paddle boarding and CrossFit. As a natural handler with great expectations, we have enjoyed watching their bond grow over the past two weeks. We look forward to hearing about all the fun adventures Mia takes with Bazzini in the years to come. Bazzini was started by the Gadsden Correctional Facility and finished by Ray and Carol Burke of Venice, Florida. He is the 10th puppy they have raised and they are here to present him today. Congratulations to successor service team, Mia and Bazzini. So what do you think about your pup? I love him, man. You love him? I do. He's so laid back and quiet, which is odd. Compared to most dogs. Mm -hmm. But he's awesome. So it's the end. We are about to head out so that I can drive to my parents' house in North Carolina, pick up my little kitties, and then the next day gonna head up to DC. So, yay! We have finished two weeks of training and it's been a good time. I think when you're a successor, sometimes it can feel a little redundant to go to another two week training um, because a lot of the lectures are very similar to what we learned before, but 
I, I enjoyed my two weeks because it gave me time to work with my dog and make sure that all the kinks and, you know, any resistance sort of to work it out with the pup. And, you know, Vizzini has done well during the two weeks. We've worked on on bonding with each other and he's just a great dog so i i've enjoyed myself and it's been good to get to know everybody in my team training class and yeah it's a little bit of a mixture of yay we're leaving and a little sadness because you know it was great getting to know everybody and it was also good to be able to just focus on your dog and focus on your handling skills. But it will be a relief to get back to everyday life as well. So, yeah. Just cleaning up the room and getting my stuff to the car. And I think I'm going to go exercise Bazzini before we head out. Uh, you know, Last play time. Last one. For now. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Hi. What's that dog? She's different. She's not like the others. No. <laughs> you don't look like the others.